Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about drawing inferences based on a data presented in a double bar graph. Graphs are visual representations which can give information both directly and indirectly. In other words, readers sometimes may have to draw inferences or make conclusions based on the data presented. These are the things that we should remember before drawing an inferences. Number one, determine the topic or title of the graph. Number two, look at the axis, the x and y axis, to understand the relationship that is being illustrated. Number three, Analyze the data in the graph. The following are some of the expressions we can use in drawing inferences. Number one, from the information given in the bar graph, I conclude that. Number two, from the information given in the bar graph, I infer that. Number three, from the information given in the bar graph, I assume that. Number four, from the information given in the bar graph, it can be concluded that. And number five, from the information given in the bar graph, it can be inferred that. Based on the data presented in this double bar graph, draw an inference. What is your inference? All right, from the information given in the double bar graph, I infer that the fruit with the most kilogram salt for two days is orange, as we can see in the graph presented. Another example, draw an inference based on the data presented in this double bar graph. What is your inference? Very good. From the information given in the double bar graph, I conclude that the most favorite vegetable of boys and girls is malungay. There are a total of 38 children who choose malungay as their favorite vegetable. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.